Good morning, dogs. After the pledge, we'll be talking about DECA, Hoko Spirit Days, and more. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For DECA stock market game, at the close of the market on Friday, September 22nd, and first for Frankfurt is Carson Hell. He is currently ranked 81st out of 583 teams. And if you guys haven't heard, DECA will have a specialty cookie every week, and for this week's is Blue Sugar Cookies. And the cake roll fundraiser will end tomorrow, this Tuesday. Yesterday, three teams faced off in the hot dog challenge held here at the high school. The three teams being the Jocks, Taylor Tots, and the Agu Aguilas. Through a series of tough and questionable calls, the Jocks came out on top. The team members were Aiden Howe, Keen Myers, Doug Wood, Caleb Boggs, Lexi Kaufman, Gabrielle Helen, and lastly, Garrick Erica Burge. Congrats, guys, and another luck on Friday. And for Spirit Week, today is White Lies, on Tuesday is Jersey Day, on Wednesday is Class Color Day, on Thursday is Dress Like a Kid, and on Friday is Hot Dog Pride. Now, we will send it to sports with The Hot Spit. Good morning, everyone. We're back in the studio, yo. Man, whoever did these hallways did an amazing job. It looks sick. You might be asking yourself, Aiden, what the heck are you wearing? Well, to answer that, it's Hoko week, baby. That means every day of this week, we got dress code themes. And today is white lies. So yeah, I run distance and track. Check out the FHS student section account for the rest of the themes for this week. And don't be lame, dress up. On Friday, with the football action, the hot dogs unfortunately fell to Western Boone, 0-49. Coach Byers says the offensive line of Julio Rivero, Clayton Grieger, Landon Faust, Dominic Hoskins, and Lee Cantu all played really well. The defense also played well, with Lala Castillo leading the team with seven solo tackles. Caleb Boggs and Evans Machora had their best defensive game of the year, each con contributing six solo tackles. Evans also re recovered a fumble that was caused by Stephen Colby. Nice effort, boys. Now, we get prepped for HOKO. Results have came in for the cross-country action over the weekend. The boys and girls cross-country teams competed in the open division, also known as the Big School Race, at the Culver Military Academy invite against multiple state-ranked teams, including number one-ranked team, Carmel. Out of 26 teams, the boys' team finished 20th, and the girls were 18th. Top boys' finishers were Chris Angelis in 12th, out of 205 runners, and our top girl runner was Alina Ramirez in 78th out of 177 runners. Nice job, Gaties and Lettleman. And with the last event of the weekend, the boys' soccer team played the Bruins of Tri-West on Saturday, with the game being tied 2-2 two two for a while. With four minutes left in the game, Ethan Hudspeth came up big with the game-winning goal, putting the dogs up 3-2. Nice job, dogs, and nice goal, bro. The girls also played at Tri-West on Saturday, but the, we have not got the results yet. But with the, the only event for the night, the girls' JV and varsity soccer teams were traveling to Western Boone to play the Stars at 5.30. Good luck, ladies. Go get them. All right, dogs, that wraps up sports for today. Hope everyone has a magical Monday, and I better see some more people dressing up for the HOKO themes. Now to Mr. Boring for weather. Thanks, Hudspeth. What's up, dogs? Hope you guys had a great weekend. This morning we will have some patchy fog. The high today is 81. The low is 58. Humidity is 69%. The wind is at 5 miles per hour. That's it for the weather. Have a great Monday, hot dogs. Now back to your host. Going into the tennis sectionals, Doug was able to catch up with one of the players, Edwin Wainscott. Here's the interview. What's up, dogs? I'm Doug Wood, and I'm here with our one single tennis player, Edwin Winscott. And Edwin, what's the goal going into sectionals? Uh, the goal going into sectionals, it's the same as always. Uh, hopefully we come out with the win, but, you know, we're going to be competitive, so that's all that counts. Yeah, so I know you guys got a new sectional this year. You got the, the big dog Zionsville out of there. Can you talk a little bit about that new sectional? 
Yeah, so the new section we have uh, Seeger, Central Catholic, McCutcheon, Attica, and us. And it's actually at Frankfurt, so that's a plus. But um, it's definitely going to be more competitive this year, and that'll be fun, and it'll be a lot of growth for the younger ones. So how do you feel about the drawing potentially being the day before you have to play? Um, you know, it's a little bit rough, but it doesn't really affect us. We're still going to go out there and play our game, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, one, one last question for you here. Can you talk about the growth of the team from the start of the year all the way up going into sectionals now? Uh, yeah, the guys, they've grown a lot. Um, they've definitely become more mature, and they're making more tennis plays, and they're being smarter about the game. And uh, Jack, he's actually improving a lot. And he's actually earned a uh, varsity spot, and he's been playing up in the varsity level a lot lately. So that's always fun to see. All right, thanks for sitting down and talking with me. Thank you. Yeah, sectionals this week for, uh, for our Frankfurt tennis team. Make sure you come out. It's at home and support your, your fellow dogs. Good luck to the boys tennis team going into sectionals. We here at Hot Dog Network wish you all the best. For lunch today in lines one and two, chicken alfredo, pasta, and bread knots. And line three is barbecue sandwich. And line four will be assorted pieces. A special happy birthday goes out to Isaac Hernandez Martinez, Jocelyn Holmes, Ella McAtee, Noah Sandoval, Braden Wessel, that is all for today's morning announcements. Have an amazing rest of your day, dogs.